Hey guys, I'm coming. Guys, I'm coming in. Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, I've been trying to figure out the video editing uh, program, and I have a video in the works. It's a Gloomhaven video, uh, but it's taking a little bit of time to edit through it. Uh, it's a little bit longer than I want it to be, uh, but look forward to it in the future. But today, that's not what we're going to be talking about. Today, after a little bit over a month of waiting for this guy, uh, some stuff happened where it didn't get sent where it should have gotten sent. Um, we now have uh, the Darkest Night Small Hours um, expansion. Um, for those of you who know what Darkest Night is and who have actually gone through the trouble of backing the um, second edition Kickstarter, um, you do not need the Small Hours. The Small Hours is actually uh, legacy support for those of us who had the first edition materials but uh, didn't obviously want to back the... Um, second edition Kickstarter is simply because uh, you'd be buying this the same game twice essentially. With that being said, um, this is the all the content that you would normally be getting with the um, second edition uh, that the first edition just didn't get. Uh, the, to me which is really cool because uh, that shows that Victory Point Games is looking at legacy support. Uh, you look at a lot of other companies and they don't really care for the legacy support. Uh, Fantasy Flight is a big offender of that. Uh, they tend to bring out a second edition of a game and then just kind of leave the first edition by the wayside. So those of us who actually, you know, were fans of the uh, first edition and, and, and had all the content and everything just kind of get left out. Uh, with no other choice but to buy the second edition, which is kind of a cheap thing to do. So anyway, um, without further further ado, let's just kind of jump into this. There is shrink wrap on this. Uh, I know I said that I would usually take the shrink wrap off, um, but I just realized, you know, I have a tripod now, so I have two free hands, so it should make it a tiny bit easier getting the uh, shrink wrap off. This is in the t same typical style as most of the Victory Point games um, that were produced uh, through Victory Point games as opposed to a third party. Um, so it's got the sleeve around the Victory Points game, you know, giant red box, which is just a big tuck box. Take a look inside. We should be getting a new map and a, couple, a bunch of other really interesting things. So here's the rule book. This is just um, from the feel of it, just your normal paper, and it, it looks like it reads exactly the same as the uh, original rule books, which is basically like a bunch of stereo instructions. It, it just it looks intimidating and not very friendly, but the game itself is honestly really easy. So that's cool. Um, we are getting uh, new classes in this as well. So some classes that were available to people who backed the second edition, um, but did not, uh, or didn't necessarily get given to the uh, folks who had the first edition. So here's a cool thing. This is uh, what looks to be a little cheat sheet for all of the blights and other interesting tokens and whatnot. A quick reference so we don't have to constantly, constantly be looking in the rule book. And then the new map is made of the same kind of paper material. So I think I prefer the map that came with uh, the first edition, only because I think it's thicker, but the art on this is so much better. It's just beautiful. Very good job. So yeah. But you can see it's just kind of a very thin material. Nothing really... Uh, substantial there which means that it's going to be really easy to store I'm, I'm kind of excited uh that i got another big red box because i've been storing these uh into in uh, one of the smaller boxes and it's kind of a pain in the butt um these tokens i guess are capstones i'm not exactly sure or sparks or something to that effect 
Really cool. Same same uh, concept here where they throw a sticker on top of a, uh, I think it's particle board, I'm not sure, and then they laser cut it. And the uh, Victory Point wipes a lot cloth. Can't forget that. It's not actually a cloth, it's a napkin. Um, just because you're going to get sooty fingers when you uh, start punching out those um, tokens right there. And then we have this giant map deck. This is so much bigger than the uh, original map deck, and I love it. I love just how much more substantial it feels. So much going on here. I'm not sure if this is just like a direct replacement, although I, I would assume obviously it would be, but just look at that. It's, it's, I think it's tarot card size. It's huge. Incredible. Very good card stock. I mean, this is really thick. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So those are the new map cards. I want to say they're a direct replacement of the old ones, which is kind of cool. I don't think we're getting new heroes. I thought for sure we were supposed to get new heroes, but I'm not seeing any player mats for those, so... Are these just... Yeah, because I know we had Scholar before, Ranger. Oh, okay. These are additions to all of the uh, all of the hero heroes that exist. This card is intentionally blank. Discard this card. Okay, so this guy's not supposed to exist. Are these just additions? Yeah, look at the back of this. So for the contents, we get uh, one rule book, 88 power cards, 12 event cards, 22 artifacts, 25 quest cards, 25 mystery cards, 24 darkness cards, 50 map cards, uh, 15 spark tokens. Okay, so they're not adding new new characters. They're just adding new cards to their decks, I guess. It's been a while since I played this, but it looks like that's the case where we're looking at... Yeah, just a whole bunch of new cards for their decks. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be direct replacements or if these are just a a additions to them. They're not. There's not a, uh, one for every one of them either. Obviously, I'll have to read further into that, but we'll look at these in a moment because there are so many more cards here. So we got all our artifacts, darkness cards, mystery cards, quests, more artifacts. I don't like the way that they organize these. Another one of these guys. I guess they had some misprints. Oops. Just as you can see, tons and tons of new content. So let's take a look at some of these. Tracks in the Night, Common Cause, Forgotten Outpost, Lexicon, Well of Misery, Thunderhead, Paralyzing Fear, Faded Adversary, something that we're never supposed to see, Blinking Boots, Fate's Balance, Magic Map, Orb of Power, another thing we weren't meant to see, Night Terrors, Thieves' Den, Besiege, Dark Orb, Fugue. Signs Importance. I feel like these exist already. Timeless Trove by Starlight. 
Devotee's Altar, Hot Pursuit, Well of Night, Torpor, Scatter, Finger of Death, Boundless Night, Blindfold of Bliss, Destiny's Hourglass, Lens of Truth, Misty Mantle, Wraps of Life, Masquerade, The Mourners, Adjudication, Conflux, Evil Chant, Salvation, The Vaults, Battle Sight, yeah, Battle Sight, Cultist Grave, Holy Scroll, Well of Pestilence, Towering Shadow, Seal of Grace, Gloom, Defiling Touch, Battle Standard, Claws of Tenacity, Horn of Dawn, Mirror of Moonlight, Wand of Contagion, The Lovers, Weeping Well, Broken Seal, Door to Darkness, Making Waves, The Rift, sorry, The Pit, I don't know how I got rift out of that, guys. Uh, Whosoever Worthy, Counting Coup, uh, Hold the Line, Sage's Hunt, Undying, Seal of Power, or just Seal Power, Honor Guard, Empower, uh, Apostasy, Cape of Heroism, Helm of Perseverance, uh, Mask of Resentment, Sunstone, Call to Action, Skeletal Patrol, Warlock's Lair, Broken Graves, Dire Spiders, Heirloom, Spies Guild, Trinity, Common Knowledge, Hidden in the Shadow, Path of Ordeals, Well of Depravity, Smother, Last Gasp, Enfeeble, Banishment, Book of Mysteries, Girdle of Endurance, Magus's Circle, Spirit Skeen, A Time for Heroes, Resupply, Tricksters, Black Smoke, uh, Demigoggery, uh, Green No More, and Smuggler's Tunnel. There's a whole bunch of these guys. Just cut it there. I'm not going to read off all these names, but just give you a quick look at what we're looking at here. I don't know if these are overgrowth. I don't know if these are supposed to be. Sorry, I went through that really quickly. supposed to be um, re-implementations of the hero or if these are new cards that we're adding I know that they said something to the effect of where, that they're adding like three to five cards to each of the heroes so that may be the case right here and it just seems like there's a lot more than that but then again these aren't organized very well so only time will tell I always liked the artwork on here. It was very uh, minimalistic, and uh, I don't know. There's something about that that really made me happy. Where there was more of a focus on the game as opposed to just like looking at the art. And if you had a chance to play the game, the game is actually a really intense game. Um, for cooperatives, this is one that was very difficult for uh, me and my game group. trying to complete this without uh, failing like you think you're doing well at the beginning of the game and just the more and more you go through it the more and more you're just like holy crap I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if we're gonna make it because you think you're getting more powerful as you're going along but then again so is the uh, so is the necromancer that is what they give you with um, the small hours. And like I said, it's supposed to be uh, a supplement for those of us who have the first edition, who don't have the second edition, who um, are trying to get uh, trying to update their um, game um, because uh, when they did the Kickstarter for the second edition, they did make extra and new material that was specific for it. Um, that us with the first edition didn't have and I, I happen to have all the material for the first edition so um, I didn't want to go turn around and buy 
you know, a whole new game just right out. I mean, I'd be, I'd have two copies of Second, or of uh, Darkest Night at that point, and I, I just didn't think that was a, uh, I didn't think that was a great idea. So I think it's cool that they gave us that legacy support, and I think that they, that thinking about um, those of us who have actually supported this before, um, that's really awesome. And like I said, you don't see that with a lot of companies. A lot of the time, once they um, throw out that second edition, you're kind of just left in the dust. Um, they don't really think about it for everybody else. Um, I do suggest that if you don't already own Darkest Night, to go go check it out if you're into um, uh, cooperative games. Because this is not only uh, one of the harder ones that I've uh, played with my game group, but it is also one of the darker ones that I've played. Um, you're going to be spending most of your time uh, being glad that you don't live in this universe because it is... Uh, the glimmer of hope is, is very small. Um, the necromancer has already won and it's your your job to try and kind of dethrone him and it's just not an easy thing it's actually really difficult uh, but I just wanted to showcase this because I just got it I should have gotten it about a month ago but there's a lot of things going on I guess um, so this is dark and darkest night small hours um, yeah so, um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, every subscription gets me uh, that much closer to an actual URL. And um, I'm always open for, uh, for comments at the bottom. Um, just let me know if I missed anything or if you have your own thoughts on this. Uh, maybe there's some other companies you'd like to talk about that don't do legacy support. Um, and until next time, guys. Peace.